it was so cool because you see them as real people and they're getting made fun of in really kind of harsh ways yeah. at some points, but they're able to roll with it. When you were approached to be in the movie version of this online juggernaut, uh, what did you think? Oh my God, I was so excited. I mean, I lo have loved all of the videos we've been on for like the last 10 years, and so I've seen them all, and I'm a huge fan of Zach. For me, I've been doing improv on stage for the last 15 years in Chicago and New York and LA, and it's like my passion. And this is like a great example of improv coming to the, the big screen or the <laughs> small screen, but getting to make a full movie that's improvised, it's it's really cool. It's, it's one of those uncomfortable comedy styles yeah. that I can really get behind. <laughs> There's certain ones where I've got to turn away, like 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 uh, the Sasha Baron Cohen stuff. I can watch, but only in drips and drafts. Oh drafts. yeah, it's that that's a whole different world yeah. where he's like really tricking people in the real world. I mean, at least the celebrities here know what they're getting themselves yeah. into, so <laughs> they're, they're able to laugh at it too. You got a, a, a front row seat to actually see a side of celebrity that, that very few people actually get to see this, this sort of, it, you have to be exceptionally self-aware yeah. to be part of this. Oh yeah. Um, tell, tell me something about that experience, about seeing these people who are so famous, and we see them through glossy magazines and through blogs, but you saw something different. Yeah, Keanu Reeves was somebody who I really admired. I mean, I've always loved him since I was a kid, so it was cool to just be on set with him, and I barely spoke to him because I was terrified, but he was so funny and like read a poem, like got really into it and was like fully performing in it, so it was really cool to see. Did any celebrities in, in, in the course of their cameos sort of um, help shape where those interviews and those cameos were gonna go? Not exactly, because I think one thing that's fun about it is that they don't know what Zach is gonna say, and so they're surprised by all of the questions, and they're really caught off guard, and that's part of the fun, is like seeing yeah. them have to react and figure out, like, how do I deal yeah. with that rude question? <laughs> and I mean, at the end of the film, we get to see a little bit of what it's like yeah. in real life. You get a little bit of the, the bloopers. There are a lot of people who only know Zach and truly believe that he is the characters that he embodies, <laughs> but who, who, who is Zach Galifianakis? I mean, he's really not like that. I mean, he's so funny, obviously. I think it'd be impossible for him to not be funny in real life since he's so hilarious on screen, but he's also just extremely down to earth, and I, I mean, I think he would roll his eyes at me even saying all this, but he's, he's really normal and fun and like really cares about people, so it's cool. Would you ever work with him again? Absolutely, yeah. I would love to. Please, I hope that can happen. <laughs> What's yeah. next for you? Because you really do have so many balls in the air. Yeah, I have another movie coming to Netflix later uh, with David Spade that I'm really excited about called The Wrong Missy but you'll hear more about that soon. Lord, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.